After a long day, you're ready to get your game on with your Quest 2, and you run into the Wi-Fi insecure error while trying to connect to your PC via AirLink. The Quest 2 connects with the Wi-Fi network, but doesn't recognize it, giving you the Wi-Fi insecure error. Full disclosure, my dad experienced this. This issue does pop up every now and then. Keep that in mind as this could be a recurring issue. The video will only cover basic networking and configuring to resolve the Wi-Fi insecure error. Anything beyond that is out of the scope of this video. If you don't feel comfortable about configuring your router, I would recommend asking someone for help. With that being said, this video will help with getting you up and running if you decide to do so. So a quick background. The Wi-Fi insecure error occurs when you have a more complex network. This happens when there is an additional router added as a subnet as part of an existing network. In other words, I piggybacked on the existing network where I also communicated via AirLink to my PC and the other Quest 2 was communicating to the other router and PC. The Wi-Fi insecure error, at least for me, only occurred with the main network. We have two potential root causes of why something like this would happen. The root causes are you have a more complex network setup. For example, you may have multiple routers connected to your network. You set up a router as a subnet on the main network. Now, items you will need to complete this is obviously your Quest 2 headset, a Wi-Fi router with Wi-Fi 6, uh, 5 gigahertz, 802.11ac or AX. And you'll also need your Wi-Fi router login credentials, which are your admin name and password. Any web browser, typically it's your default browser. A VR-ready PC. So the solutions in this are going to be fairly easy. Um, the estimated time is going to be around 15 minutes. And it's about medium difficulty. Um, the biggest thing is configuring your router. So the first step is to restart power on and off with your PC and headset. This will sometimes resolve the issue as you may have to do it every once in a while. Now you can skip the next step if this has resolved your issue. Now fair warning, if you are not familiar with going into your network settings on your router, it is recommended you contact someone who has experience in it. Okay, letting you know, all right, let's begin. The step is rename the SSID, which is the Wi-Fi name ID on your router. This will be the Wi-Fi network your headset will log into. Keep in mind, if you change the name of the SSID and possibly change your password, you will also need to reconnect your devices to that router's SSID again. That also includes pairing the headset to the Oculus app. How to do this, you ask? First, locate your router settings by typing in 192.168.0.1 in the search bar of your favorite browser or any main browser that you have. Um, typically, the range of IP addresses is going to be 1, 0, so uh, depending on your configuration will depend on the IP address. Uh, for this example, I'm using my TP-Link. Next, log into the router with your username and password. You're almost finished. Go to the wireless section of the menu. You will see your existing Wi-Fi network name and password. Change those. Save and log out of your router settings. Using your Quest 2 and connect to your new Wi-Fi network. You will need to pair your headset again to the Oculus app on your PC. It may show that your headset is trying to connect to two networks. Turn on AirLink in the beta settings on the Oculus app on your PC and make sure your PC is connected to the router via Ethernet. Connect via AirLink to your PC. Now as a last resort, you can reset your router and then repeat the steps that were described. That's it. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you guys very much and see you guys in the next video.